President, président veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience reprend. We continue hearing the testimony of Mr. Khan. Du témoignage de Monsieur Khan. Next, we would like to give the floor to civil party lawyers group two to put questions civil. to the witness. The floor is yours. Kong Pisai. Good Maître Kong Pisai. morning. Thank you, Mr. President Merci, and Monsieur Your Honours and the parties to the proceeding Madame and uh, good Monsieur morning, Mr. Prakhan. I'm Kong Pisai, the civil party lawyer Avocat for the civil parties. I would like to put some questions to you. You say that the regulations for the detainees were that uh, detainees were not allowed to shout or chant uh, slogans and so on and so forth. Have you ever heard uh, detainees would shout such slogans? entendu des détenus dire à voix forte ce genre de choses? The regulations were seen in the interrogation room étaient visibles dans les salles d'interrogatoire but i had never dans heard any detainees shouting mais any je n'ai jamais slogans. entendu de détenus dire des slogans à voix très haute mr pisay you said uh, about 50 to 60 percent of the detainees would uh, be called to be interrogated. What happened to the rest? Qu'en était-il des autres? Response. Réponse. I don't know, but uh, my presumption is that, that pas, they would have been executed. Je présume qu'ils ont été exécutés. Mr. Pisay, thank you. Question. You indicated already that uh, you witnessed dit a woman being electrocuted. Une femme électrocutée. Did you see that that person were electrocuted uh, by the uh, raw current from the voltage? À l'aide d'un courant pris sur une prise de courant Response. normal. The electrical Réponse. cord uh, would be Le connected to the était socket, uh, and that uh, prise part of the cord uh, would be attached to the shackles. Du fil électrique était attaché au, était connecté Mr. aux entraves. What was your impression regarding that uh, detainee while being electrocuted? Que ce détenu était électrocuté? Response. Réponse. After a, a short moment, uh, the bref moment, detainee passed le out. Détenu a perdu connaissance. Besides, thank you. You said uh, your Question. leader or your chief was man, Cham Muslim. Was man. he arrested later on? Est-ce qu'il a été arrêté par la suite? Response, uh, when I started working quand there, commencé, man was the uh, chief of the group, là, but later on he man, was arrested group, uh, at S21. Besides, thank you, you Question. also stated Vous that there was a woman named Thorn, who was a medic uh, sent from China, and she was found uh, having committed some wrongdoings and arrested, uh, what happened arrêté. to her and uh, what happened lui est to her spouse? Qu est -il arrivé à son époux? Response, Thorn was the medic Thorn who gave or uh, treated me with acupuncture qui traité à and de uh, Thorn was in charge of uh, Thorn, treating me. I did not know what happened to her husband. He worked there, Il and he was 
trained in China on medical treatment and acupuncture. That's why later on I was treated by such method. I think um, that her husband uh, did not uh, die during the regime. He just was separated. Les deux ont simplement été séparés. Besides, you said uh, the person named Su witnessed uh, the foreigners who were burned alive using tires. So do you know anything about that person now, Mr. Su? I mean, Qu'est-ce que vous savez de Monsieur de ce de cette personne dénommée Su? Still alive. Su est encore en vie. Mr. Besai, thank you for answering my questions. I would like Merci to give the floor to my colleague to share the questions to be put collègue. to the witness. Good morning, Mr. Mr. President, Your Honours. Good morning, Bonjour, Mr. Brakhan. My name is Silke Stutzinski. I'm representing civil parties, victims here in these proceedings. I want to put uh, some questions to you, and first, um, I am seeking for clarification. Am I right uh, that you were treated by nurses, by female medics, when you fell sick in S21? Response. Yes, it was. It is correct oui, that correct. Uh, that medic uh, treated me. In the English translation, I only heard the word medics. Uh, my question was, ma question if you were treated by nurses, by female medics. Vous avez été traité par du personnel médical féminin. C'est bien ça? Réponse. Response. I was treated by that female medic who treated me with acupuncture. Have you been treated by Question. other female medics in S21? Personnel médical de sexe féminin à S21? Response: No. Réponse: No. I would like to move now to um, an incident that you have already described. It is the case of Mr. To, who was in your group. I hope I pronounced it well. Um, who was charged with rape. Who told you about this rape committed by To? Réponse. Response. It was Touch, not Toy. It was Toy, not Touch. His name was. He raped uh, the female detainee, and it's true. He did that. Une détenue, et c'est vrai, il l'a vraiment fait. My question was, and please listen well. Était who de savoir told you, qui vous en or a parlé, how did you get knowledge of this rape? How did you get knowledge of this rape? But Réponse. Response. No one told me. I witnessed it. Été de la scène. I did not uh, see when the woman was being raped, but I saw her when viol. she was being arrested. À son arrestation. How did you... Or what did you witness? Alors, Could you describe this, that you came to the conclusion that she was raped? Qui vous permettent de dire qu'elle a été violée? But Réponse. Response. I did not see the rape clearly, Je but pas uh, vu le viol according to manière, uh, the 
Jan close associate, mais d'après un associé proche associate de Jan Dutch, également proche associé de Dutch, told me that Dutch raped that Dutch woman in that room, and later on Dutch salle, was arrested Dutch and detained on a detention. In a building on the first floor, Dans un bâtiment and au premier uh, étage. with his uh, legs shackled and put Avec to sit down on the floor, et, uh, he assis, on mis could assis manage au sol. to Il run upstairs and commit suicide, but he did not pour se die. Mais il because he was Et supported uh, by the wires, uh, the electrical parce avait été cords, par and uh, les fils there was a sparkling light uh, from that impact. Et puis l'impact de son corps sur ce fil électrique a donné Prakhan. lieu à une décharge électrique. Please, um, un try éclair. to listen to Monsieur my Prakhan, question and uh, try to respond uh, uh, only to the question because you repeated this what you have already have told us yesterday in que a part of your response. Vous avez déjà donné le um, you said in your testimony before the co-investigating judges, this is document uh, D19-8 and with the, on the page with the English ERN 0016-1, and there you said I know only of one rape because it was adjacent to me. And I emphasize because. Therefore, I come back to my question that your knowledge of this rape came because, or you get knowledge of this rape because you were very close to the incident, to the rape. But Réponse. Response. That's correct. C'est correct. How far away have Question. you been? Vous étiez à quelle distance? But that a job. Réponse. Response. Uh, that uh, house he stayed in was la next to my house. La maison voisine de la mienne. If you get knowledge because it was adjacent to you. Did you hear or see anything to conclude she was right? Do you have anything to conclude to the existence of a viol? But response. As I told you already that uh, when the woman was being raped, uh, I did not witness it. But later on, Je after the incident uh, uh, was revealed, uh, then uh, Dutch uh, was accused Dutch of uh, such a count, uh, and he was detained. Who ordered his arrest? Do you know this? Question. Qui a ordonné son arrestation? Le savez-vous? But God. Réponse. Response. I did not know who put the order, non, but Chan arrested Dutch and put him under shackles, and uh, he was placed in a house, dans une in maison. a building. Ou dans, plutôt, dans un des bâtiments. Do you know why he was arrested? Savez-vous pourquoi il a été arrêté? Mulhad. Réponse. Response. It was because Dutch raped that woman. Then I want to um, quote what you said before the prosecutors. It is document uh, D2.7 slash 5 and there uh, the English ERN 00146792 and there I quote uh, you said to the Prosecutors in my group, there were Chai, Dut, Khan, Khan, 
They were imprisoned ils ont été for what prison, reasons I don't know for sure, but maybe they had sûr, been accused by others as belonging to the CIA network. Comme du de la CIA. Could you again review your response? Could it be that he was therefore arrested, as you said to the prosecutors? Peut-être repenser, peut-être que dans le cas de Teutsch, il avait été arrêté non pas à cause But de ce viol, mais pour euh, appartenance à la CIA. Réponse. J'ai dit cela parce qu'il y avait effectivement Chai, Chun, Khan, Chun et d'autres membres de mon groupe who were arrested qui and ont walked to be interrogated gradually and later on there was no one left in the group people from 703 were arrested uh, and uh, to the day when the Vietnamese came there was none of people from 703 left I don't know whether they were implicated as CIA Alors, je ne sais agents pas si or not. On les a mis en cause en tant qu'agents de CIA. I was not told, and the people who made us arrest uh, was Et not made known. Nous, nous pas I realized qui that uh, they had problems only because uh, they que ces gens disappeared, des problèmes, tout and I was so scared uh, because we would eat and slept in the same house, but later on, uh, they kept uh, disappearing, et and et I stopped uh, being scared only when we the mist came. Je n'ai arrêté d'avoir peur que lorsque les Vietnamiens sont arrivés. Le président, groupe 2, vous, votre temps est écoulé. Nous donnons maintenant la parole au groupe 1. Mr. President, uh, you are already informed that you have no more time left. Uh, civil Party Lawyers Group 1, you take the floor. Groupe 1, vous avez la parole. Thank you, <coughs> Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Morning, sir. Bonjour. My name is um, Alain Werner. I Werner. represent some civil parties with my national colleague, T. Shrina, and I have some questions for you. And I would be very grateful, because I don't have a lot of time, if you could, if, you, if it's possible, if you could um, answer with a short answer that would help me to put all my questions. The first thing, sir, I would like to, to ask you, coming back to line of questioning put to you by Judge Laverne yesterday, just want to follow up on one thing, and that is the, um, the networks. You said in front of the instructing judge, and the reference the ERN in English is 001-61577-D19-7, 21 September 2007, you said that. Before interrogating, Dutch gave instructions, sometimes by telephone, sometimes in person, that this one is in that network, in that zone, so interrogate and get responses, so we can research further. Do you remember saying that, sir? Response. Yes, I do. Réponse, oui. Just one thing about the network, Question. because Concernant you have been uh, answering questions and using this again and again, the, the network name. Is that correct, sir, that the situation was that the prisoners, Alors, when talking about the network, they had to give names, names of individuals? On papers. Is that the situation? Response. Yes, there is. Oui. Now, when you said that Question. so names could be given Donc, and get responses données. so we can research further, pourtant, what did you mean when you said that? Vous dit d'interroger pour obtenir des réponses pour permettre de pousser la recherche plus avant. Ça, ça voulait dire quoi 
Response. I believe that uh, the research further means to plus avant, à mon sens, interrogate uh, thoroughly and more in depth to find uh, the more fond, network plus association, for example. Thank you. Now you said something else in the same interview, ERN 0016 1585, page 18. Here is what you said. You said, so the question was. So when the prisoner implicated A, B, C, D, as you would call it, were those who had been implicated brought into, or were there no follow-up no follow and additional arrests? And here is what you said. You said the responses of those implicated later, I met some of them brought in for interrogation for having been involved in previous responses in which people had implicated them earlier. Do you remember saying that? But response. Yes, I do. Oui. <coughs> so, sir, is, is, is the situation as Donc, follows? La situation Some la name suivante. allegedly part of a network un were given by someone being interrogated, a detainee, and later you yourself, you saw some of the people named in this confession brought themselves to S21. Is that correct? Certaines des personnes dont les noms ont été donnés antérieurement. C'est bien cela? Response. Réponse. Yes, there is. Oui, c'est bien cela. Thank you, sir. Now, I want to ask you something Merci. about the truthfulness question. of all of that, all of this question. And answering the question of my colleague, you sort of touched Vous upon that this morning. But I just want to put to you matin, something that you said in the same interview, ERN 001 61584. Here's what you said. As for the responses that I got during the interrogation, my conclusion was that they were more false than true. And next page, 0016-1585, you said this. In the responses I spoke about, before and now, the responses of the prisoner had to be reported. Some seemed unlikely inappropriate. Some only 16 to 18 years old were considered to be CIA. That was not proper. That's why I said they were not true. That's why I said it was only after the hearsay is compiled into a story that can be said. And then you said this. Some prisoners, since we had tortured them, they were in pain. And they answered, some responded, so I had to document it. And finally, a question which is a little bit long, but the answer is important, so let me put the question to you. Just the same, the same page, a question was put to you. They ask you, you had the impression that the majority of the responses were probably not true. So did you think that Deutsch thought the same as you, that the responses were not true? So we compared this with the intent of, intent of Deutsch saying to interrogate until it came out they were enemies, until the traitor network came out. So when it did not come true, out, sorry, when it did not come, come out that many were traitors, did you think that Dutch saw that too, or not. And here is what you said in answer. You said, I thought that my considerations and Dutch were not different, but the man was crazed with war and mistreating people. It seems he did not think much. That is my estimation. Do you remember saying that to the investi investigating judges? But, but. Response, yes, I do. What did you mean when you said Dutch was crazed with war and mistreating people? What did you mean, sir? qu'il y ait la guerre et à force lui-même d'avoir maltraité les gens. Response, could you please repeat your question? Of course, of course. 
I read to you je an answer you gave, and you said the man, you were talking about Dutch, you said the man was Donc, crazed with war and mistreating people. Could you just elaborate on that? Response, I'm not quite sure if uh, that statement is uh, uh, come through to me because that's why I can't probably respond to you now. So I understand that. I read you a portion in substance saying that you did not believe the answers were true and that you thought Dutch did not believe either that the responses were true. Is that correct? Could you confirm that? Pouvez-vous confirmer ce que je viens de dire? Response, uh, I did réponse. say that uh, the truth, uh, the, the responses are not always true. That's, that's what I said. Thank you. Now, I want to ask you something. Question. Yesterday, you answered Hier, Judge Yassacon, and he asked you about Division 703, and he asked you if you knew division, about the rift between Division 703 si and the West Force, de, and in substance, you just said that you knew, and at the end, it was only West, you left in Division 703. Now, I would like to put to you a statement about Division 703, 001, same statement, 001, no, sorry, statement of 20, 25th September 2007, 001-61562, and here's what you said. Those arrested and put in S21 tool slang, those who work there in the interrogation section and defense, all of their origins were from the 703, from the beginning. I estimate about 300, no fewer than 300, including defense and interrogation. So those from the 703, as far as I know, that was almost all of them, there remain only a few. Question. Arrested and killed? Answer. All arrest, all, the, all had been arrested and killed. Could you confirm you said that? But yes, I did say that the force from 703, although I was not 100% sure, it's my conclusion. The total number was now less than 300. And in the end, in the interrogation section, only I was remained of the 703 force. And in the defense, there were only five or six left. And the same page, here is what you said, question. From your observation as an interrogator or through discussion with other interrogation cadres, were the arrest of 703 because of Dutch dissatisfaction or fear of, or fear of the 703 would take his position or what? This according to your personal understanding. And here is what you said. On this, I can just say that the 703 forces at the time were the first to come to S21, all from 703. Since he had moved from the PJ to S21, all the forces were the special forces of the 703, like Taman, Peng, Toy, Wu, who we had requested from the 703 special forces to come to supervise. And the small low-level forces were from the 703. So I imagine that Dutch did not want the 703 forces to supervise everything. I do not know, or they were tracking down and arresting 703 network. I do not know. So those who had his stories from the 12th division, the 703, everyone was angry. So my conclusion was he did not want 
the 703 to rise, to rise to power, he was afraid he would not be the chairman forever. Could you confirm that you said that to the instructing judges? Response, yes, I did say that. And is that, just, just if you can answer yes or no, is that true? Est-ce que vous pouvez répondre par oui ou par non Est-ce que ce que vous avez dit est vrai Response, yes, that is true. Oui, c'est vrai. Now, here is what you said about the fate of one of the big men of Division 703. Oh, here is what you said. 0061-61-577, D19-7. Question. I want you to explain a little about Hor. Is he alive today? Answer. Hor, from what I know, Dutch shot him to death in 79. Dutch ordered subordinates to shot him when they arrived at Amleng when the Vietnamese came. Question. What month? Answer. I do not remember clearly, but why fleeing the Vietnamese, I was confused then. Question. About her being shot, did you see this or learn, learn this through someone? Answer. According to what I know, from a friend who lived with them, he said this. Question. His name? Answer. When he told me, it seems it was at Kompong Leng. He's alive today. Sir. Answer. Cham, sir? Sorry, question. Cham, sir? Answer. I do not know which, sir, the defense unit. Did you say that, sir, in front of the investigating judges? The response, yes, I did say that. Is that true? Response, yes, I Yes, that is true. Oui, c'est vrai. Your Honor, I have one more question. Am I allowed? Monsieur le Président, j'ai encore une question à poser. Est-ce que je peux la poser? So, you probably know that before you, Him Hoi was at this bar, at this bar, at your home seat, and was testifying. And I want to read you two very, very short portions of what he said. And because you were yourself at the political training, ideological training, torture training session. I just want to know if yes or no you can confirm what he said. That's all. And it's very, very short portion. Here is the first, the first portion, when I myself ask him the question. Here is what he said. As I already stated early on, during the study session lectured by Dutch, he, Dutch, personally and directly said that everyone would be smashed or killed, not only the people who were detained at S21. I believe because he said that we had to kill them all. So they were prisoned all across the country. So I mean everyone would be killed. And later my colleague, Mr. Hong Kim Soon asked him, came back to this topic, and here is what Mr. Him Hoi said. First, Dutch stated, he said, everyone had to be killed and leaving only four million people. And then later on he said, everyone shall be, shall be smashed to bits, to all, and the statement I still remember ever since. So that is my last question to you. Can you remember Dutch saying anything like that during the Après session, the training session? Ce genre de chose à ces séances de formation? Response. Réponse. That is um, her statement to the question. Regarding the content of what you just said, I'm not really clear on it. It's been so long already. So I cannot say clearly whether it was said during the training. Sir, I have no further question. And I would like, on behalf of the people I represent, to thank you for having come here and for testifying. Thank you very much. The president. The president. Next.
I would like to give the floor to the accused to make his observations regarding this witness testimony. The accused, you are reminded that besides what you have responded through the civil party lawyers' groups, you don't need to raise it again. If you have any additional remarks to be made, you can proceed. The accused, Mr. President, first of all, I would like to make a clarification on document EN 00174392, which the co-prosecutor showed this morning during the questioning to the witness with the President's leave, I would like the documents to be shown again. The President, the AV officer, could you protect the document 00174392 on the monitor? The President, Judge Lavergne, shall you take the floor? Just for the transcript, I precise that this document, for the record, I'd like to specify that this document bears the following references, D32-4 Roman numerals, Annex 58. President, the AV officer, are you able to protect that document with the EAN 00174392 on the screen again? If you cannot do it, please report it. The President, the accused, you may proceed. The accused, Mr. President, the writing in black reads the response of A. Main Hing, Elias Chond, from the energy. That is my handwriting. And it is not Prakon's handwriting. And the writing beneath in red ink is my superior's handwriting, that is Son Sen's. So this is not to confuse with the writing and the role of S21 and the person who has the authority to my dear rest. And I reported these documents to my superior. So this is just my verification on this document. The President, every officer, return the screen to the normal court view. The President, Judge Lavergne, you take the floor. Concerning this document as well, we said that this was an interrogation that had been carried out by Black Khan. Does can the witness confirm to us that he was the one who conducted this interrogation? Black Khan. Yes, I did interrogate this person, and the handwritings on the cover page was as the accused Dutch confirmed. The President, the accused, you may proceed with your observation.
Mr. President, I do not want to uh, talk more on this document. And now I would like to talk about the person. This witness, Prakorn. I would like to say that up until the 7th January 1979, I never saw, never heard of the name or the face of this person, Prakorn. What I say is that he was a minor staff at S21 office. I have searched for a long time to understand the biography of Prakorn. Initially, Prakorn was a staff of a special unit. Later on, I requested her to transfer him to be an interrogator cadre. He himself also stated that he stayed in the house with the which marked letter R, which is now known as the Beehive Radio Station. R sur le plan, c'est là que se trouve actuellement la radio, la station de radio Beehive. And he completed, uh, performed his duty Et as a guard posting outside. Il était au début garde posté à l'extérieur du périmètre. That was one of his duties as a special force. Ça, c'était une de ses tâches en tant que membre de la de l'unité spéciale. Later, he became suite, an interrogator. interrogator. The document which verifies that he was in the special unit was D25. Et le document D25. Slash one. Bar un. It was the complaint of Boomain, whom he alleged that this Bracon is his witness. He said the first witness, his first witness was Van Nat, and second witness, Bracon, a Khmer Rouge soldier who transported the prisoners to Chiang And a document which confirms that he was the interrogator was a document which was just shown on the screen. That he interrogated a female person whose name I cannot recall. Therefore, I can say that the testimony shows that Prakorn is faithful to his biography before this chamber. Regarding his activities in the special unit, he had mentioned it continuously. And he also talked about his role in the interrogation unit. One point that I would like to raise for our consideration at this stage is that Bradcorn said the interrogators had the duty to apply pressure on the prisoners, not to allow them to scream or shout. This is one view. 
in addition to the testimony of Jumei, who were interrogated Jumei. for 12 days Jumei. and nights, Jumei, Jumei that is the name, he did not say that he either screamed or shouted or cried before the, the interrogator at all. Chumay n'a pas parlé d'avoir crié ou pleuré euh, ou poussé des hurlements devant les, les interrogateurs. Separately, Bu Meng was the Par same ailleurs, in providing his testimony before this chamber. He never said. Sens, à savoir qu'il n'a jamais dit. He never said that he cried or scolded or shouted at the interrogator. Ou insulter les interrogateurs. Therefore, the three testimonies, Parce when they combine, we can form a view. Combinés ensemble, euh, semble aller dans le même sens. That the accused, even if they suffered, they would hold and not scream. Si souffrait, retenaient leur cri. And this is the view that was raised by Prakorn, which was a little bit uh, absurd. And this is just for the chamber's consideration. I also agree with uh, Prakorn that it's fearful to think of the time Il est effrayant de se remémorer cette époque. I observed, and through my observations, I believed, I believe in the testimony, wherever it might lead to. Et je la trouve crédible. True or false, it doesn't matter. It had to proceed. Que, ce, que les aveux étaient vrais ou faux, peu importe. À l'époque, il fallait continuer. For example, in the testimony exemple, where five or six cadres of S21 interrogating a female prisoner, although he himself realized that the judges did not believe his testimony, he still continued to say it. And there were more examples of this type. Example. This falsified testimony, yes, there were many. But I think it came out Mais as a result of fear. Que le résultat de la peur. At that time, you were afraid, you were fearful of being arrested by me. But now, you are afraid that you might be faced with the court as I am facing now. I do not demand or need any of my subordinates to stand Je with me before the chamber. Soit à mes côtés devant un tribunal. I am responsible before the court legally and emotionally for what happened at S21. Emotionnellement de ce qui s'est passé à S21. Et j'en réponds. I would like now to talk about the female interrogators. I have already confirmed regarding the organization of the female interrogators to interrogate female prisoners. And Mott, the host wife, was the chief. 
and Kern, who is wife, was the deputy chief. That was Nun Hui's wife. And Ni, Pon's wife, was the member. And Ron, Ron was also a member. Ron était également membre de l'équipe. And when I arrested Hui, Nun Hui, Nun Hui, on the 6th December 1978, I also arrested Kun. Therefore, the female interrogating cadres, there were only three remained, Mot, Ni, and Ron. And you, you said that I arrested all the female interrogators, and that is wrong. But it's not all wrong. This is just a document to show that Mott is still alive. It's zero, zero. Document zero, zero. Zero, four, zero. Zero four zero. Zero 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 four zero zero forty. And zero zero nine two. Et document zero zero quatre Let me read the year and number again. Says the accused. Zero zero. Zero 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 four zero zero quarante zero nine two zero quatre-vingt douze. In point seven, towards the end, au point sept vers la fin, Mott finished interrogating on the tenth December seventy-eight. Therefore, this document shows Mott is still alive. This document also confirms my theory that if Ho was alive, then nobody would arrest Mott. And if Bon was alive, then nobody would arrest Ni. And if Trau si was alive, then Ron Et would not be arrested. However, Bracon did not Mais make a complete uh, full testimony. Dans son Let me look at number 10, also a female si person. An interrogator was male, Payne. Uh, interrogé par Peng, un interrogateur de sexe masculin. So this is just my remarks for your honors. Voilà donc ce que je peux vous dire. And this witness testimony is not fully right. It should have documents to support what he claimed. Il faudrait que le témoin avance des documents pour prouver ce qu'il dit. And don't just say anything without having any documentary evidence. Avancer certaines choses sans avoir de preuves à l'appui. And uh, in another document, dans un autre document, you made your statement before the court investigating judges that Chen Chakray was a member of the Central Committee. Membre du Comité Central. Chen Chakray was the name. Chen Chakray. Alias Ming. Du côté central, son alias est Ming. So that was your statement. Voilà ce que vous avez dit. You claimed subjectively, without having any documentary evidence to support it. In fact, you were neither. A member, vous même n'étiez pas membre. 
nor a youth league member. Je ne suis pas non plus membre de la ligue des de la jeunesse. And you claimed regarding the seniority of those people, and that is not possible. Le rang de ces personnes, mais cela n'est pas possible. And the documents which confirms Chan Chakray alias Min was not a member of the, of the Central Committee. On page 14 of documents document, dated 9 October 75, of the meeting of the standing Accord committee. D'une un, réunion, procès verbal d'une réunion du comité central. At EN number 00 00 019 019 019 So it is zero 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 one nine zero zero. Interprète à temps que l'accusé poursuive pour avoir le numéro rien de complet. Zero 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 one nine one two one. Zero 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 one quatre vingt onze vingt et un. Pol Pot wrote. Pol Pot a écrit ceci. Means unit generally was good. Est en général bonne. Previously, he might be afraid of the enemy and tries to survive. Et a-t-il tenté de survivre? His previous background was not to support but to evade. However, he would not give in to the enemy. Ne cédait pas devant l'ennemi. But he actually joined Anka. Il a rejoint l'Ankar. Be careful on this person. Soyez prudent pour cette personne. On speaking, be vigilant on speaking. Faire preuve de vigilance. In order to show that he was a traitor, so that he would not see his future. Qu'il était traître et qu'il ne pouvait pas voir son avenir. We analyze the situation. Nous analysons la situation. That whether it was appropriate for his evasion. Il est approprié. And do not publish it. De réfléchir à sa fuite, il ne faut pas publier. Therefore, if we continue reading, we would learn that he was afraid of the enemy and he evaded. D'où la fuite. And the and the judgment whether true Et or false is based on our network. Faux se fonde sur notre réseau. 
So this is a document to confirm that Jan Jacques was not a member of the standing com of the Central Committee. And another document it is the minutes of the meeting of the Central Committee on the 19th, 20 and 21 of April 1976. Pol Pot said, Ici, Pot the comrade Mien, the comrade Mien and comrade Nat, et le comrade Nat, that is Nat at S21, are uh, just the cadres of the sont, general staff who have been mobilized to assist in the general staff's affairs in the combat operation Dans les opérations de combat and not to control any force. Non pas pour euh, commander quelque force que ce soit. Therefore, Par either Nat or Jan Chakray was not a member of the Central Committee, committee central. because effet, they were being suspected. And you just said here and there that Or he was a member of the Central Committee. It's confusing. Central, cela en the, president, the President, the accused, in your remark, you have to only propos, say which, tes, which parts of the testimony that you agree or which parts that you disagree. And please observe and behave properly and don't intend or don't apply any pressure on the witness. You can only make observations or remarks regarding the testimony or parts of the testimony of the witness as you consider true or false. And it is the chamber's discretion to analyze and to make conclusion on the statement. So you are reminded uh, to have a proper conduct in the chamber. Donc, uh, nous vous Alain Werner, I see you on the feet. You go ahead. Yes, you know, in addition, I would just request for the, the accused Merci. not to address directly uh, the witness. He has to address your honors, not directly to, to the witness. Témoin. Il Thank you. doit s'adresser au juge. Merci. The President, uh, we already addressed uh, your problem. The accused, uh, would you wish Il to a, uh, proceed with further observation? Traité dans mon propos antérieur. Est-ce que l'accusé souhaite poursuivre? The accused, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, the reason Monsieur le I raised uh, this evidence si, is to support uh, the proof that uh, the testimony of Prakon was not it's not true when he said that Chan Chakra was the member Prakon of the party center because his argument was not substantiated because there was no proof. And I would like to move further. Je Yesterday, when loin, he came in, he hier, said that there were female medics at S21 named Nam Mon. And later on, he said that the one who treated uh, her was Thorn instead. Nam Mon was not Thorn. the medic. Thorn was actually the medic. N'était pas dans le personnel médical. Thorn y était effectivement. You take the floor. Oui, vous avez la parole. Said the president, uh, would you wish to make any other observation other than 
Avez-vous une observation différente de ce que Maître Werner vient de dire Si c'est différent, vous pouvez y aller. Si c'est pour dire la même chose, non. Because, uh, If the president has already decided, then you should not really reiterate it again. Il ne faut pas répéter. No, I la would like uh, to object to what the accused said. Um, that was a wrong um, quotation from what the witness said yesterday. He did not say that he recalled exactly not uh, the name of Namon as a du nom de Namon en tant que membre du personnel médical said, féminin. Il a dit peut-être, il était possible. Et puis il, il a dit qu'il ne se souvenait pas du ou des noms des membres féminins du personnel médical. Je vous le rappelle simplement pour rappeler aussi qu'il est bon, said, and, uh, uh, si vous citez le témoin, de le citer d'une manière correcte. Uh, transcript which is already in Je the draft si version uh, submitted. Thank le you. Transcript. The President, uh, the objection is um, objection. not uh, granted, uh, but uh, the accused, please be advised to entendu, talk to the chamber rather than Je vous prie de bien vouloir vous adresser pointing straight à la to the witness. You have already been reminded time and again, and uh, the chamber is of full capacity to analyze all the testimony and statements and information it is fed uh, with. And we finally will analyze what kind of information and statements uh, are not true or not relevant. Uh, so we will objectively consider the matter, and it is the trial chamber itself who will make this final judgment. Qui produira son propre jugement. The accused. L'accusé. Regarding the female medic. At S21, actually, there were two of them, but they were not the medics produced by S21, but they were the detainees who were used by S21. There were large Dara, alias Thorn, who studied in China. She was the niece of Nun Chia. And uh, the second medic was ha Padet, alias Wun, who studied in the Soviet uh, Union and who was the detainee at the beginning, the detainee who turned medics. So there were only two of them, large Padet and Uh, ton. So ton. they were not the medics trained uh, at S21. They were detainees who were turned uh, medics. There was another dentist who was used uh, by S21 to treat uh, people at S21. You can find this document in 00171143 with that e and a number. You can find the name of da Ra, La Da Ra, and Ha Padet, alias Nun, in number 165. And the dentist uh, I used to cure or treat my dental problem, uh, her name uh, appears in this document also. Thank you very much. The President, it Le is président. now time to take an adjournment uh, for lunch. So the déjeuner. Chamber will adjourn until 1.30 p.m. Ajournement jusqu'à 13h30. Mr. Prakan, since Prakan. your testimony has not yet Votre come to an end, uh, and the Defense Council has not uh, yet put questions to you. So after lunch, uh, we would like to hear you again. So please be informed that you are summoned uh, to come back after 
lunch, maybe one hour after lunch, your testimony Donc, will be completed. Uh, court official is now instructed to take him to the waiting room and return him to the courtroom by 1.30. The security personnel are directed to take the accused to the detention facility and return him to the courtroom by 1.30.